All right, today we're going to fix a leak on this. It's on the power stand pump. Car still runs. Everything is good on it. I'll go crank it up, show you what it's doing. And this car cranks up easy all the time. 250,000 miles. Let me see if I can get in there. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. It's not a cold day today. So, if you come out here, uh, open it up. And I put this right here. Okay. Your seat starts to leak. Out towards the back. I don't know. And I've not seen the leakage. Let me look at the bottom. Yep, that's a leak. Uh, let me go turn it off and go through what we got to do for that. Mm. Okay. Wow. All right. What we'll be doing now, the leak is coming from this. So we'll see if we can get the room to work through here or we're going to have to take this off. And you have to have that set. Just always keep it with your Volkswagen stuff. Because I haven't used it anywhere else. And that's why. Triangular shape. So I'll go ahead and start getting into it. Okay, what I did. I took the two out here. That's three and four. And then took them loose at the bottom so I can get this out. Once I get this out, I should have the room to fit the socket in there. Let me grab the socket. It's a half inch also ratchet. Let me see if it can work in there. Ah, it looks like I have to take the other two out because it gets right here. Alright, so I'll take the other two out. Okay. So I took all of them off, so I'm going to have to bleed the system. Hopefully not, but I think I'm going to have to. So now I can go ahead and take this one loose using the triple uh, triangular shaped socket. And it is a 26, I think. Let me see if it says it. Yeah, 20... Twenty six millimeter. All right. Then. All right. It actually was not that hard to break loose. And thinking of it, I'm gonna have to bleed, bleed the whole system because this thing is coming out. Hoping it's just an O ring. This bad. Okay, that's it. Ah, uh, there she is. Split right there. Let me go see if I have an O-ring to replace it. Okay, I could not find one the same thickness. This one is slightly thicker than the one that I took off. This one here. But... It is just real, real brittle. So I'm just going to douse this one here with oil. Put it in. It's a real easy part to get to. And then go from there. 
Okay, douse with oil on the O-ring. It went in no problem whatsoever. So now I can put these pieces back on. That's a fuel lines for the injectors. And they can only go in in one place. You can't mess it up. Uh, this feels... Okay, I thought that was broken. All right. So, and since it's been leaking out the ports, what I do, I put a vacuum on this section here and get the fuel to fill this housing back up. Okay, what I do, I tightened up these at the bottom, but I won't tighten these. Well, they're finger tight, but I'll loosen maybe one or two to get the system primed quicker. So, and I'll go ahead and put on the other lines right now before I start priming. Okay, I'm gonna try something here. Did not um, bleed the system through or anything. I'm gonna see if it's enough fuel in there to fire up. If she fires up, she might stall or she might prime the system herself. So, let's see. Nope. I have to prime it. So let me go do this. Okay, I need two hands to do it. So I'll show you. This, I hold it right here. I took this other line off. I hold this vacuum right here and then pump the vacuum until I see diesel fuel coming up in here. Then I know the system is filled. I got it in there so I can show you. When you start pumping, Waiting for fuel to get in here. And it takes a while because it's pumping it from the tank all the way from in here. Let me pump it again. Okay, see the fuel coming up? So that tells me that's the fuel right there. Tells me she's full. So I can stop that okay so i can go back in now uh, tighten this back up then i'll go break that first injector loose the line just loosen it up and i keep a, a rag over it so when it starts to spray i can not have a mess i'll do one two and three and it should fire up by then but uh, let me get ready and hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Okay. I got it where I can literally move it. Now I'll put this right over it. Go ahead and try to start the engine. Let it swing a few times. You should see this start getting wet. And then that means the line is filled with fuel. Just I just took this off and the bottom now is wet. So I know I can close this one here. And do the same thing to number two. Okay, I didn't put the um, rag on top, but I still couldn't see it from the windshield area. But when I stuck my head out, it was spraying about that high, which is about two inches above the top of it. So I'll close that one. So one and two is done. I start with three. I'm going to see if I can see the number three when it's doing it. It's right on the right of the yellow stem. Okay, see this spraying? That tells me that one is filled. So I only got one more to do. For usually they'll start on three. So tighten it back up. Okay, and that's the last one right there. Let me, that's all you do. And then do the same thing. Okay, just checking. I had to clean it all up. Checking, there's no leak. So the old dog is back on the road. <laughs>